What's up guys? Today I'm gonna to be doing a bit different video than I normally do. And I wanted to talk about a topic that I see talked about sometimes and I feel like there's a lot of people seriously overestimating uh, how long it takes to complete this challenge. The challenge we're talking about today is finishing off the collection log and more specifically finishing off the hard elites and master clue scroll collection log sections. I see it said all the time that it is impossible to do and no one is ever going to do it. So today we are going to take a look at just how impossible it is or is it even really impossible? How hard would it be for someone to finish those three sections of the collection log? So to understand why this is considered such an impossible task, uh, let's go ahead and just look at the drop table for anyone that's not super familiar with it. Hard, Elite, and Master all have unique items, a lot of unique items that are pretty rare. This is just the normal rare table and it's one in 1,625 for a for what you might call a common rare, and there are a lot of them. So imagine trying to get every single one of these items, because you're gonna end up getting duplicates of a lot of them. For hard, there are over a hundred different uh, common rares. Imagine getting all those, because you're gonna end up getting duplicates of a lot of them before you actually get every single one of them. So you're gonna have to get a lot more than 120 unique items off the clue scroll. Elite's a master, similar situation, but that's not even the hardest part. The real hard part is actually the third age that is part of hard, elite, and master clues. So these are the rates for hard clues. It's one in 211,250 per roll on the hard clue table in order to get a specific third age piece. And when you can only complete 10 or less per hour, that is a lot of clue scrolls in order to finish every single third age piece. Because once again, to finish every piece, you're likely to have to get duplicates of a lot of them before you get every single one. So finishing the collection log is is definitely a very, very hard challenge. And it is fair that people assume it is impossible. So we're gonna take a closer look and just see how impossible it is, or perhaps it is possible. So in order to answer this, how hard it would be to finish the hard elite and master logs in the collection log, I wanted to see how long it would take. How many clues would you actually have to do to finish all of that? The logs do share slots, so if you get a third age plate while doing a master clue, it will unlock it on the master tab, the elite tab, and the hard tab. So that is gonna save a ton of time since they share each item. Now there's probably formulas and ways to do it with math where you can find the, the exact amount of clues it would take to finish the log, but I don't know those formulas. And that just seems like so much more of a hassle and not as fun to me as writing a program that will just simulate it and go through the drop table because Jagex have been nice enough to give us the exact drop rates and how the drop tables work for clue scrolls. So it's a very simple and easy, straightforward thing to do to just write a simple program that will go through those tables repeatedly and we will see how many clues it takes to finish the logs. Down in the description below, I will link to Pastebin where I will put the code that I used for these simulations. It's definitely not gonna look pretty and it's probably not super efficient, but any of you guys that know how to program, if you guys look at the code and you see any problems with the actual rates and numbers that I used or how it's done that's gonna cause the results to be off by more than 10%, I will probably do a follow-up video if you let me know. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at each log individually. So we're gonna look at how long it would take to finish the hard clue log on its own, then the elite, and then the master. And then after we've done those three, we're gonna go back and we're gonna take into account that items are shared between the logs and we're gonna see how long it takes to finish all three. The hard log has 158 different items that you can get. 122 of those are the uh, more common rares. And then you have the mega rares, which are gilded and third age. So the hard clue third age includes the full ranger armor set, the full magic armor set, and the full melee armor set. So I ran a simulation 25,000 times, each time completing the entire hard clue collection log. The average amount of clues it took to finish the log was 133,821. Out of those 25,000 simulations, the poor soul who got the most unlucky, uh, it took him 481,180 hard clues to finish the log. 
The median for finishing the log was 125,634 hard clues. And then for fun, I also tracked uh, every time I got a roll on the gilded table and a roll on the third age table. So the median amount of gilded rolls for a completion of the log was 193 and the median third age rolls was 38 rolls. Out of those 25,000 simulations, the guy that got the luckiest finished the log in 37,473 hard clues. The lowest amount of gilded rolls was 55, and the lowest amount of third age rolls was 15 out of those 25,000 simulations. Then I also did 25,000 simulations of finishing the hard log while excluding any mega rare items. That means excluding gilded, and third age. When I did that, the average finish was 5,460 hard clues. The poor soul that got the worst luck, it took him 22,418 hard clues to finish. The most gilded rolls anyone got in those 25,000 simulations was 47, and the most third age rolls anyone got out of those simulations was 11. The median finish was 5,018 hard clues, the median gilded rolls was 8, and the median third age rolls was 1. Best finish, so the guy that got the luckiest out of all of those 25,000, he finished in 1,300 44 hard clues. The lowest gilded and third age rolls was of course zero. For the elite log there are 98 different items and a pretty good chunk of those are gilded and third age. In 25,000 completions of the elite log the average finish was 227,760 uh, the poor person that got the worst luck, it took 666,100. For these, I, for fun, I tracked the third age rolls and the amount of mimics that um, they got. So the most amount of third age rolls was 194. The most amount of mimics obtained was 19,088. And that is one poor uh, virtual person. The median finish was 214,508. The median amount of mimics obtained was 6,144, and the median amount of third age rolls was 62. The best finish was 73,316 elite clues. The lowest mimic count was 2,078. The lowest amount of third age rolls was 25. Once again, just like hard clues, I took out the third age and most of the mega rares. This time I actually kept some of them. I kept the ring of nature, the lava mask, um, Pretty much anything that wasn't gilded or third age. So when I did that, the average finish was 11,830. The poor sap that got the worst luck finished in 65,856. The most mimics anyone obtained was 1,903. The most third age rolls anyone got was 27. The median finish was 10,416. The median mimics was 297. The median third age rolls was three. The best finish was 1,885. The lowest mimic count was 52. And of course the lowest third age was zero. The master log has 94 total different items. Nearly half of those are all mega rares. And now onto the master log. So 25,000 master log completions. The average finish was 117,942. The most unlucky person took 380,209 clues to finish. The most mimics anyone saw was 25,294. The most amount of third age rolls someone saw was 270. That is some bad luck right there, whoever that was. The median finish was 110,629 clues. The median amount of mimics was 7,362 and the median amount of third age rolls was 82. The best finish was 42,024 clues. Uh, the lowest amount of mimics anyone saw was 2,847 and the lowest amount of third age rolls was 35. Next up, once again, I did 25,000 simulations with no gilded and no third age, and surprisingly, master clues were actually pretty quick to finish. So the average finish was 2,210 clues. Uh, the worst finish was 10,138. The most mimics anyone saw was 634. Uh, the most third age rolls anyone saw was 12. The median finish was 2,055. The median mimics was 137. The median third age rolls was one. The best finish was in only 488 clues. That guy, uh, that would be pretty nice to finish the master log in that amount of clues. 
Uh, the lowest mimics anyone saw was 28. So with every log individually done now, we're gonna get into finishing all three of them together. And the most efficient way I've come up with doing this is first you start out with master clues and you do master clues until you finish everything that is unique to masters and you finish off the elite third age. The stuff that's gonna hold you back on, the, on this first step are those uh, master and elite third age items. So you have the third age Drudic, you have the third age pick, the third age ax, and you have the third age weapons. But once you get those master and elite third age items, then you move on to elite clues and you finish all of the unique items to the elite log. That does not include any third age items. After you finish all of the elite uniques, you move on to hard clues and you do hard clues until you finish all the hard clue uniques plus the rest of the third age. When I started this, I actually initially thought that it was quickest to get third age off of master clues because of the mimic. But it turns out if you are going for hard clue third age items, such as the third age plate, third age plate legs, all that sort of stuff and it's actually still quicker to get those items off of hard clues rather than master clues using the assumption that you can do hard clues every eight minutes and master clues take 15 minutes and now we get into the funnest part of this video uh completing the hard elite and master all of them together how long does that take so i did 25,000 simulations of this just like the other just like the other sections for the time estimation, I assume that you I assume that masters take 15 minutes, elites take 10 minutes, and hards take 8 minutes. So in the 25,000 simulations, the average hard clues done was 32,081. Average elites done was 10,640. The average masters done was 92,526. The most amount of hard clues anyone had to do was 374,273. Very unlucky for that person. Uh, most elite clues anyone had to do was 43,355. Once again, that is extremely unlucky as well because there is no third age that you need to get doing elites. The most master clues anyone had to do was 347,157. So the most hours taken was 89,555 hours. And that had a breakdown of 2,904 hard clues, 14,273 elites, and 347,157 masters. And of course, if you guys didn't realize this already, this is assuming that you get your elites and masters off of imps. So there is no time spent collecting them other than opening imps. Now moving on to the medians. Uh, the median hard clues done was 8,906. The median elite clues done was 9,244. The median master clues done was 85,094. So the median hours taken was 27,667. Uh, the breakdown of that was 24,981 hards, uh, 13,769 elite, and 88,166 masters for this specific case that took this amount of time. And then finally, the lowest counts. So the least hard clues anyone had to do was 1,050. The lowest elite clues anyone had to do was 2,085. Uh, the lowest master clues anyone had to do was 19,149. The fastest anyone did it in these 25,000 simulations was 9,228 hours. That had a breakdown of 10,789 hards, 6,975 elite, and 26,508 masters. So a median time of 27,667 hours. That is quite a bit of time. But at the same time, I would say that that is definitely doable and definitely not impossible as some people are stating. If you guys that think that the 27,000 hours is a lot, just for some perspective, I went back to Crystal Math Labs to find what the efficient time was to get 200 mil all skills back at the beginning of old school. Unfortunately, there was no um, snapshot of the Crystal Math Labs at the very beginning of old school RuneScape. The earliest I could find was December 14th, 2014. So this is after the game had been out for almost two years and, and skills were a fair bit quicker at this point in time. So just keep that in mind. At the very beginning of old school RuneScape, it was even slower than what I'm about to show you. So if we go down to the time it takes for maxed uh, for 200 mil all for so for max total was 2439.92 hours for max total on a, a main account uh, Time for 200 mil all was 33,979.59 hours and remember this is EHP. So this is if you're playing Completely efficient 
I don't know of anyone that has, at this point in RuneScape history, maxed at EHP or faster. It essentially takes everyone a bit longer than what the projected EHP is. So there were people going for 200 mil all at the beginning of old school RuneScape, knowing that it could very well take 40,000 hours. It was cut off, but there it is. Uh, you guys can see right there. So 33,979.59 hours to 200 mil all. Of course, there is a big problem in that you would need a ton of money to get the Dragon Imps, but I'm sure if you were to stream this uh, goal, people would provide you with the Dragon Imps to do this. I think that wraps up this video. We found out how long it takes to finish off the Hard Elite and Master collection logs. I've shown that there are plenty of people that go for goals in that realm, 200 mil all skills being that sort of goal. So with that said, I would say that finishing the Hard Elite and Master collection logs is not impossible and i do think we will see someone complete it someday it may be five years from now maybe 10 years maybe 15 years from now but i think we will see someone complete it one day and anytime that you say it is impossible to do it just remember that in 25,000 simulations someone did it in nearly one fourth the time that you would expect to get 200 mil all skills so i hope you guys enjoyed i I plan on doing some more videos of completing bosses and stuff, how many how many kills it takes, and just so, different sort of stats about each boss. I've already written code for pretty much every boss in the game, including getting all pets. All I have to do is make the video on each thing that I want to make it on, so just go ahead and comment down below what you would like to see, and any sort of stat that you would want to see regarding uh, whatever boss that you want to see. I would love to see your guys' ideas, so make sure to let me know down in the comments. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.